This is Dr. Margolis. I'm going to try to explain how to irrigate a three-way catheter using a piston syringe. As you can see, the syringe has a hole at the end, a ring for your index finger or thumb, depending whether you're doing it two-hand or one-handed. We're using a three-way catheter, meaning it has a opening at the end that you can flush in and out of. This is generally the end that gets hooked to the leg bag or a drainage bag. The other part of the three-way is the continuous irrigation which you see hooked up on the right. It has some blood in it which is not unusual when the irrigation is not running as it is in this patient. Eventually when the clots are all cleared out we can start that running but it's never a good idea to run it until all the clots are clear. If you do the patient is gonna have a risk of uh, perforation of the bladder if you run the irrigation when there's no way for the fluid to get out. Generally we start with two syringes just to be sure that we're not sucking against the bladder wall when we do pull back. The patient probably has several hundred milliliters when they come in with retention and you put the catheter in so occasionally we will let it passively drain between installations of fresh syringes of sterile water. We do not use saline as it does not lyse the cells as well as sterile water does and these clots are generally inches in diameter and need to be shredded in order to get out the rather narrow tip of the catheter. This is a plain 22 French latex catheter. It's not the one I typically use but didn't have a choice here. Normally we use a Cuvillier catheter by Rouche which is a clear plastic one with a rather large mouth. Uh, we always make sure that we have an assistant nearby and have at least two or three liters of sterile water ready to go as it's not uncommon to have to use that much in order to clear all the clots before hooking them up. One word of advice is if you're a righty and you irrigate right-handed you should have the patient scooched to the side of the bed closest to you so you don't have to lean over and hurt your back. The uh, patient should be on you should be on the patient's right side if you're right-handed and on the patient's left if you're a lefty. Always brace your hand against the thigh gently without making the patient uncomfortable and always make sure that you don't tug on the catheter as it could cause spasms. When you want to empty the, empty the bladder completely you want to pull until you see air get sucked into the syringe then you know you're at the uh, at the bottom, basically that the air at the dome of the bladder has been sucked down to the bladder neck where the tip of the catheter sits. Then you would start with uh, fresh syringe fulls in order to again begin lysing cells. That's demonstrated here. As you can see the air gets sucked into the syringe. Again, start with two fresh syringe fulls with your thumb in the ring of the piston, gently in and out, and always make sure that you tighten it into the end of the foley so you don't push the foley off the tip of the catheter. Another word of advice is to watch this video several times before trying this. If you're going to try to suction out two syringe fulls after you've only put two in you just want to be careful and gentle with the second one if there's any resistance or the patient is uncomfortable just fill them up with another clear syringe another clean syringe full before you start to pulling back again I hope this is helpful again never leave the patient alone always have an assistant once you start irrigating you really should not leave the patient and if you start noticing blood coming out around the catheter or the patient has discomfort in the bladder there's probably clot that needs to be hand irrigated before hooking up the CVI. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.